Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Nuclear Throne. We are back again and this time we are going to jump in to a run with Crystal on good old Ultra Mod here and see what we can get done. The classic defensive character, extra HP and shielding as you can see. I often forget to use that shielding ability so I apologise if I make some bad plays and not use the shielding when I maybe should. But it is what it is. Either way, we're just going to try and do some regular runs here and get back into it. In the last episode, the first episode of the series, we had a really good time actually of seeing a lot of the the new flaws in Ultra Mod, as well as some of the ones that are new with this update, which was pretty cool to see. Um, I wasn't expecting to see those so soon on a new save file, but we've managed to make our way through to some of them. Yeah, I think that's pretty interesting. Good, but yeah, we, we unlocked a hell of a lot on our first run. Ooh, we definitely want to take a screwdriver. That's very useful to us. We've got a pop gun here. Uh, pop guns are pretty interesting because their shots count as shotgun shells, which means that they work with the shotgun shoulders mutation. We'll try and... Uh, Work that into a run if we can, if we if it gets shown to us. Right now, we're going to go for Rhino Skin for the plus 4 HP. Oh, we ended up going to this place. I wasn't expecting this. We've got this car again here. We saw in the last episode. Careful, this. I don't know how I ended up going down here. I'm guessing I accidentally destroyed the fish skull while I was, uh... While I was taking on... The boss. Okay, there's another car there with a star on it, so maybe it doesn't mean anything. Maybe I was reading too much into things previously. Do you know what? I'm just going to turn the screen shake down to 10%. I realise that in a game like this, you really should keep screen shake on. Um, but, I don't know. This is tricky. There's some good stuff here. I'm going to take Bolt Marrow in the hope that we get a Bolt Weapon. Just because I think Bolt Marrow can be really good. I've gone with the electric pistol here. Low range, but potentially very, very high uh, damage output. Ah, unfortunately, not quite high enough. The range actually kind of screwed me there a little bit. But as I said, on these Nuclear Throne runs, uh, these videos, we're not always going to be going with... Um, we're not always going to be going with one run per video. It's going to be multiple uh, to fill out until at least half an hour. Ooh, we did get something new here. We did get something new. Uh, this is a very interesting alternate floor so you'll get the portal over here which is purple and sometimes you'll get these sort of pale green portals that take you to the a much much harder version of the floor that you're just on so we are in the alternate version of the floor we were just in here and what that means is there's more rads available there's a weapon mutation available like a weapon upgrade uh, and much harder enemies and a much harder boss so, so, these maggot guys, not too big of an issue, but these guys you can see are firing triple shot now, which is making them a bit harder. We've got a screwdriver once again here, so it's really wanting us to go down the screwdriver route. we got our weapon upgrade there, of course, as I just mentioned. Grab that. And we can attach that onto our pistol for now, because unfortunately, there ain't much else to attach it onto. Lame. That last enemy's over here somewhere. There you go. There we go. We want to keep the screwdriver for a specific purpose here. Um, we're going to go with Rhino Skin again for that extra HP. I think that will help out if I can manage to not die instantly this time around. The flame on the pistol is clearly pretty useful. I like that. By the way, um, just, to, just to preface, I am playing in the 60 FPS mode that is still in beta. It's like experimental. So it might well be that um, we see some drops below 60 here and there. But the mode is still sort of being worked on. We've got Splinter now as well for this pistol too. Jawbreaker, no thank you. And then who we got down over here? Splinter, I like that. There you go. And what do we want to take here? Bullets could be good. Let's take Gamma Guts for the uh, on-hit protection here. We are looking for the, the golden car on this stage without having destroyed it. So be a little careful about what cars we destroy. There it is. Do you know what? Just just take it before things go wrong. I, uh, I skipped out on some, some useful resources and stuff there. But I really wanted to get down here as quick as we could. Coming down here does have a few purposes though. One, we just unlocked YV, which is probably my favourite character in the entire game. Um, 
but also we get a golden chest which contains a golden weapon which are essentially alternate starting weapons and this mod does indeed have alternate golden weapons too we can come over here and we get the money gun which is golden lance unlocked for crystal okay we just got golden lance oh shit money gun and the golden lance oh my god okay so we got a golden lance that's super cool the money gun <laughs> Money gun's pretty funny. I'm gonna take this golden lance though. Yeah, golden lance has been unlocked now. Now, now this character and this character alone can start with this as a weapon, which is pretty awesome because starting with melee is pretty strong because you don't need ammo. You can see that pretty good as well. Golden uh, versions of the weapons also have additional stats like extra damage or fire rate as well. Um, let's take long arms, shall we, and go with a a full on melee run with this golden lance. Seems pretty damn good to me. Seems pretty damn good to me. I mean the range on it from long arms means that we can just hit enemies through walls as well which is pretty lovely. Goes out of our way. And it hits twice as well. I imagine it's not going to be super effective against this guy. But I'm going to try it out regardless. It does destroy shots as well, as do most melees. Do you know what? It seems to be doing a pretty good job. I'm suspicious that the damage numbers may be contributing to the slight bit of hitching, slight bit of lag that I'm getting. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Absorb pause. Absorbing pause. Ammo and health drop. Give rads every 100th rad heal one. Rads reload your weapon. I like the idea behind that. Oh god. This is where I need to be more acutely aware of using my ability. A what the hell is a slash shotgun? Oh shit, that's awesome. I like that a lot. <laughs> I will be taking that. Very nice. Small weapons we can small weapons, small enemies we can melee, big ones we can slash shotgun. Oh, I keep forgetting to stop standing in the goddamn middle. It seems like if you stand at exactly the right distance away, it does a lot of damage. Yeah. Good, good. There's also a heavy sledgehammer here as well, which seems kind of intriguing. Oh my god. I bet that does a lot of damage. I'm going to keep that, you know. I bet that does a lot of damage because it swings so goddamn slowly. Oh yeah, 50. Holy hell. Okay. Good job I have Gamma Guts, otherwise I would have been dead there. Dude! I was like, don't throw the car. Don't throw the car. What does my boy do? He throws the car. So if we go left click to go to main menu now, we can go over to this fella and we can actually select the Golden Lance here as our starting weapon. So now, we always start with this thing, which seems goddamn amazing. And yeah, you unlock uh, golden weapons per character, not like overall for every character. So they, they are fairly balanced because you're only going to get them as certain characters. For now, we'll just stick with the golden lance. Um, yeah, being able to save ammo like this, very useful. Um, damage increase, probably the best thing to go for here when at max HP. We'll just go for all the various damage increases we can go for. Toxic Revolver. I'm actually not going to take anything here. I'm not going to bother going fishy area this time either. If I can go pizza too, if I get explosive like a grenade launcher early, then I'll take that. But who knows if we'll get that. We've just got to wait and see. Just got to wait and see. Should be trying to get the rads of the enemies I kill at least. Still got to remember, I have the ability to shield myself that I constantly forget about. 
bouncer revolver. Dude, that killed that guy so goddamn fast. Wow. Um, I'm going to go with that for the, for the faster reload, because that does affect melee weapons, meaning we'll get faster melee as our rage builds. The only thing is, obviously, on getting hit, our rage does decay. I like the little shimmers you get from golden weapons here. That's pretty cool. Ah. Already lost some rage there. Burr. Still no explosive weapon to get through there. We're going to have to be patient with that. The grenade launcher shall show itself eventually. I'm hoping we can really build up a crazy rage meter with this thing and just be slashing like absolute madmen, but... Triple pop gun. Again, pretty interesting, but... I'm going to go full melee here. Actually, nah, I should probably take the triple pop gun as a just-in-case backup, because we've got nothing else that expends ammo right now. I'll take it as a backup. You can see this very faint fire above my head is showing my current level of rage. Lovely. And that fire will get bigger and stronger as we go. Impact wrist seems good with melee here. Oh, yes, it is. I love these confined little alleyways for uh, impact wrists. Good. Goddamn crows. Almost got me. Through we go. Through we go. Away we go. We basically we go through that because for one it advances the stage. Basically the amount of stages you've been to denotes like the power of the weapons that you find and drops. So the more stages you go to the better. So we go for it for that reason. But also every subsequent crown vault we go to from now on will have weapon modifiers in them. Which I don't even know if you can put on melee weapons but I would assume you can. Okay let's clear out everything else before we bother with uh, Big Baddy here. I love the little streaks, so good. Pros, you fly away every time, but when I actually want you to fly away from the boss, you don't bother. Remember, we've got shielding if we need it, but based on the fact that we can destroy bullets, we really shouldn't need it. Yeah. Lovely. We're getting through here. Longer shield is nice. Um, probably go for longer shield, actually. Charge. Is that charge shotgun? Charge shotgun. Yeah, it is. Lightning rifle. I'll take a lightning rifle. I know it's cursed, but I don't mind. We do have a reviver summoner over there. These guys with impact wrists are pretty great because you just knock them around all over the goddamn place. Remember we've got shielding if things go awry. You can see that my rage meter is now built to a pretty good point and you can clearly tell that my fire rate is a lot faster than it once was. Of course, unfortunately, I do lose rage when I get hit, but luckily I don't lose all my rage when I get hit. Just a portion of it. I don't know what my max rage is. Lasers can still go through my shields, so I couldn't have not got hit there if I wanted to. Yeah, I tried. I, I knew that they, that they couldn't block it. My bad, I guess. My bad. Right. Do another quick restart here. I'm really liking the Golden Lancer as a starter. I don't have to stick with it the entire run this time, though. But I think picking up Rage is always going to be a good thing early on for, um... For a melee character. Or any, any sort of melee run. I used to really not enjoy melee runs, but I've come around to them since. Ooh, this is annoying, because I can't get through here without... Ah, this is a bugger. Okay, I managed to get around it somehow. I don't really know how I did that. 
Uh, let's go with this. So the enemies are sleeping for a little bit. Unfortunately, I went the wrong way straight away there. Luckily, these enemies are worth a lot of rads and very easy for us to kill with this weapon. Weapon drop. Ah, oh, you bitch. It's okay, it's okay. Ah, I played it risky. Too risky. I just like the range that this thing has for a golden weapon. It's real good. Very, very useful. Down we go. We do have a golden boy here. Should ignore him for now. It's actually not that hard for us. Machine gun. Oh, we got uh, another little portal area here, look. Get me through there. I don't know why I picked up that ammo. <laughs> Literally doesn't matter. Uh, we're not really getting what we want for melee, so let's just go with Rhino skin again. These guys can be very tricky at this level. Beautiful. Another level up is awesome. Don't worry about things that can't shoot. <laughs> Frost. Frost on a melee weapon seems like it could be really good. Not seems like. It is really good. <laughs> wow. That's incredible. Wrench. It's not a golden wrench though, is it? Anyone else down here? Yes, there are. God damn, I just can't get a hang of using the shield at the right timings with this guy. One day I'll learn. Ooh, this is new. Alien Intestine. Whenever you try to use your active tentacles, come out of your body. Um, more powerful the longer you wait between uses. That seems really cool. Um, and go scary your face as well. So whenever we shield, it's going to pour forth tentacles. I can see him sticking out of us now. That's awesome. That seems really good. Especially it's going to make me use my shielding more often now. Holy hell! <laughs> That's strong. Dude, I, I waited like two seconds. Okay, it doesn't really... I was like, maybe I could just spam it, but you can't actually spam the shield ability that quickly. Doesn't quite work that well. this 175% rads to enter you have 88.31 175% how does that work how does that work yeah what I'm guessing I have to be max rank to get in there what the hell is that I have no idea I'm a little confused by that, I have to say. Throne butt isn't super useful here. Let's go with um, go with glass arm. 27% less enemy HP mixed with scarier face. Enemies have like 50% less HP now. That seems amazingly useful. You can see my tentacles are getting bigger as well here. Yeah, this is good. One shot and everything now. I like it. <laughs> it insta killed the boss. That's amazing. Bouncer crossbow. Finally, a worthy thing to take.
Oh my god, this floor's scary. This floor is hella scary, man. What's this? Sacrifice weapon mods. Yes. I don't know where it's taking me. Um, take boiling veins. Doesn't make as much sense to the H high high HP character. So we're back to this area again, just via a different method, which is intriguing. Oh, it's a mutated frog. Mutated frogs mutate other frogs. So I'll be careful around them, boys. That is pretty awesome with this character. Dude, the amount of shots that last time we came here, that exact same thing happened. The amount of shots those guys fire is insane. Wow. Something we're going to have to get used to. Right, let's try and actually use guns this time around, because I'm relying too heavily on the lance, and I don't want it to be an episode all about the lance. Right. Push on through. One second. Sorry about that. Let's keep her going. Let's keep her going. But yeah, we've got a lot of options in like which ways we take each run as well, which is nice. We got we can try and take like the harder ones or the easier ones. I think I'm gonna have to take rage again, because rage seemed real good last time. Um especially with melee if we end up continuing to use melee. One second, I want to check as well. Is my 60 FPS mode is on? I may have to play around with that a little bit. Maybe there's some settings that uh, change how that's affected. Okay, let's kill you with the melee, because melee blocks shots and does a lot of damage. And like I said, build up my rage mode. I think that was the mini plasma. Yeah, let's take the mini plasma gun. That thing seems good last time. Beautiful. Pretty uh, steep on the ammo consumption. Ooh, baby. I always go for Bolt Marrow just in case. Now, there's only one ammo per shot this one, actually. It's not as bad as I thought. Not as bad as I thought. This thing has like a little radius to it when it explodes as well when the shot hits. Kind of detonates a little bit so it can do some AoE for us, which is kind of nice. Oh my god, I got hit by the rat. What is this? The Blood Bullet Shotgun. Intriguing. Seems to have high range. Kind of low damage. But high range is good. I want to go pizza sewers, my god. I want to go pizza sewers. Okay. Blood weapons, as I said, are good because even though they do lower damage, they do block shots. Which is very, very valuable. Especially on certain bosses and enemies. Uh, one second. Sorry, I'm just going back and forth with the developer, letting him know some of my feedback during the run. Um, and some of feature requests and stuff. Mainly, I would really like to see a... Ooh, what the hell's the dead glove? I'd really like to see a... Um, golden weapon randomizer. That would be super good. So you have a bunch of different golden weapons, you just get different ones each time. Ooh, okay, we get long arm this time around. Let's go with that, because uh, we didn't get that last run. And I think that plus rage could be really fun. Unfortunately, I walked right into some fire there, so not ideal. Lovely. Back up to max HP. Yes, yeah, so we've got the same thing again up here, wh whatever this is. But I'm guessing I'm going to have to come back to here on a loop. isn't ideal, but it is what it is. Here we go. And we'll just exit straight away. Like I said, we're just getting it for the extra flog gone to. I like the way that um, those square bullets can be stopped in midair for a brief time with melee weapons. Before, they were unblockable and they just go straight through your melee swing. Now they stop for a brief moment, which is a nice compromise between the two, really. 
Oh, dude, I love... I know I said I wasn't going to melee, but I love the melee plus um, rage. I mean, long arm obviously makes it even more fun. Minigun time. <laughs> Look at the damage number. Oh, lovely. That's really satisfying. I'm really curious to see how that gets on loops, because I bet that's going to get really wild with damage numbers just all over the place, but we'll see. Cool. Ooh, enter. Did I enter that? I don't know if I did. I tried. Uh, let's say, let's say Bloodlust this time. I did enter it. Okay, so this is another alternate way to get to this dragon floor that we saw prior. I like the fact that there's, like, so many different, like, routes you can take and, like, it's not like, oh, you're on this path or this path. It's like, you can interchange between the paths. Like, kind of naturally through various different methods. I like that. Now, these enemies do seem to have quite a bit of HP. And I've got to remember, lasers cannot... Uh, can go straight through my uh, blockades. I can't be doing anything against those. Like that. Oh, I, I, I keep messing that up. Right, we'll go for one more run here. I said that I'd always want my episodes to be at least 30 minutes long, so I will go for another run. Toxic Revolver. I wonder. Um, we'll go straight through here, I guess. Toxic Revolver. It seems like one of those ones that's risky, but like potentially pretty good just because of the extra damage you're getting. Oh, God. Oh, my God. See if we can find that little cursed skull thing again. Ah, oh, I've walked right into the poison that time around. Yeah, there's the cast skull again. Any enemy that chases poison seems real good against. So if I touch it, it automatically spawns the boss. What? Okay. I'm going to try that again. Where's the little... There it is, there it is. No, I don't want to go straight away. It's not what I intended, but it's what's happened. Luckily, this weapon is pretty strong, so we're able to do a little bit to keep it going. Oh, my God. By the way, uh, it's up to you guys. Uh, as, you, as you'll probably be noticing a little bit in the video, we are getting some frame dips from uh, 60 down to whatever, like 50 and, and stuff. Um, ooh, can we retroactively touch this? We can, good. Um... I would like to some feedback from you guys if you would like to see um, if you would like to see 60 FPS mode left on just with some dips here and there, or if you'd rather me just stick to 30 FPS. I'm fine to do whatever people would like. Obviously, I prefer 60, but it is still a work in progress bit of the mod, so it is going to have dips here and there. That is not what I wanted to do at all. I I'm determined. I'm determined to get through this. Hey, I dodged it this time. Good. Oh, yeah, I was determined to get through this. At least I know I can clear out the whole floor before touching the skull this time, though. That's very useful to know. This weapon just absolutely tanks through these guys. Bullet popper. Ah, oh, I wanted that. God damn it. It's the dashing that I can't deal with. Everything else I can deal with pretty easily. I'm trying to kill her with her own shots. There you go, I got a heavy crossbow. I think I'm okay, thanks. I got my weapons locked in on me right now. Forgot that was going to happen. Uh, right, scarier face is probably a good one to take here, I think. And we're in a new area now as well. Um, go with boiling veins because we don't know what's coming up in this area. Probably a good idea to take strong spirit as well, which is going to basically give us um, the ability to deny a lethal blow. Recharges went at full HP. Once per area. Bouncer Assault Rifle. Yes, please. So this is a, an area I've never been to before, so I'm kind of in the dark about what these enemies do. But 
Based on the fact that it said something about zombies before, I'm gonna imagine they're zombies. And I'm gonna imagine that they can revive themselves in some way or another. Happy to have melee. Okay, no, they're not reviving, but these guys are resurrecting. So they don't revive themselves by the looks of things. Oh, I'm getting teleported. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not what I prefer to do, my ladder. Okay, now you're teleporting. Oh, oh! The zombie can shoot straight through my shielding. Get out of here. And then we can reroll strong spirit. Oh, there's an ability to reroll something that you have at random in this area. That's good to know. Um, alien testings last time was really good. I'm going to take that again. And we're going to keep on using the bouncer assault rifle, I think. Seems pretty darn good. Okay, I'm on one HP at the minute. Let's uh, try not to die. Luckily, HP will be coming our way pretty shortly. No HP? No HP yet. Gotta be careful of the cars that I accidentally blow them up on myself. Being cautious where I can be. This weapon's doing a ton of damage, so that's nice at least. Nice, I used my little infection thing there, my little tentacles. Let's do a very good job. Heavy sledgehammer once again makes its way to us. I think I'm going to stick with what I've got there. And... 30% increased fire rate is very nice. Prevent lethal damage uh, and reset HP to max once per loop. Normally that's just get full health and some ammo, so that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice indeed. I'm gonna take the flexible elbow for the extra reload. Just go straight through here. The Dragon Skull isn't open right now. I'm not quite sure what causes it to be open. So last time, I managed to one-shot the boss with this tentacle thing. Let's see if we charge it up enough if we can do the same again. Oh god, that 30% fire rate I'm noticing immediately here. It's very noticeable. Whoa, I got hit multiple times there by god knows what. Yeah, okay, that, that, that could just annihilate him. That's ace. That's very entertaining. <laughs> okay, into the laboratory again. Of course. Bouncer shots are also pretty good in here too. So we got the... So th th that computer console didn't work. Maybe it's only a specific one. Splinter Spear Launcher sounds fun. We'll take that over our melee at this point. And nothing over this way. I love our little tentacles dangling about. Especially considering they're purple and their character model's purple as well. It fits very well. Good, good, good. Nah, I'll stick with a splinter weapon, I think. It's likely to be better. Yeah, I mean, that, that thing annihilated him. Or whatever you want to call that boss. A him or her. An it. Probably more of an it than anything else, right? So this thing having splinter is very, very nice. Basically, when it pierces through an enemy, out the back of the enemy comes a threat of shots. We managed to apparently kill a sheep there. away from that car, you goon. And we got Seeker Pistol here as well. I think I'm okay for a Seeker Pistol when I've got this thing. 
This thing is literally one-shotting most things. It's turning a lot of things into sheep, apparently. What's, what's going on with all the sheep? That's the third sheep I've heard. Now, this is where we need Bolt Marrow. Um, and this is where we'll use Patience to try and get Bolt Marrow. I wonder if you can only use Patience once. I'm going to guess you, you can only use it once. Ow. That was a very good saw blade, my good sir. Wasn't expecting it. Oop, one second. Oh no, it's just my alarm going off. Don't worry about that. Oh, bugger. I missed out on that though. Dude, if you leave that long enough, that thing does a lot of damage. Good, good, good. And unfortunately, yeah, we do lose patience and we didn't get the thing that I wanted. Um, I'm going to go with the Alkaline Saliva for a bit of survivability. Item drop, projectile speed. Go with that. Projectile speed on this thing's kind of good because it's fairly slow. Ah, I should have I should have held off on that um ability use. Morpher rear. Uh, he tried to lob the car at me, I will not let that happen. Ha ha ha, Morpher rear. Uh, ooh. <laughs> That's kind of funky. Okay, that literally turns things into sheep. I like it. Ooh, hello. We are in the caves. Okay, a lot of block shooting things here. Out of ammo on this bad boy. Morpho Ray, you're gonna have to help us out here. Which I don't actually know how good the Morpho Ray is in general. It seems pretty good, but it could be kind of ammo hungry by the looks of it. I wonder if the sheep do anything, or are they just kind of there? I don't want to go through that thing. So, oh no, it's okay. Mini plasma shotgun. Let's try and take that. Okay. You out. Ah! Bloody bugger you. I'm kind of tempted to always try and save my Kraken thing for, uh... Uh, use against the boss now because it just does so much damage against bosses. Like this guy. You don't get any closer to me, unfortunately, so that didn't really work. You do drop ammo, though. Oh god, how the fuck do I dodge that? No! No! Okay, it's actually not that hard to dodge. Okay, that guy wasn't so bad. That guy wasn't so bad. I learned him eventually. It's, it's the slowing webbing that really sort of caused me issue. Super flak cannon. Yes, please. <laughs> That's what we've been looking for, baby. Bit of bolt marrow. That's pretty smexy. We got this weapon storage thing. Deposit weapon? I don't want to deposit weapon this time, because last time it just teleported me. Okay, I got saved then. It was very nice of the game to do that for me. Lightning Striker. 
I'm gonna try out the Lightning Striker, why not? Eh. Nah. Not as good as that Super Flat Cannon. Super Flat Cannon is love. Super Flat Cannon is life. Is that it? We all good? We all good. And... What do we take here? Negate every fourth hit seems useful. That literally hit nothing. That was very disappointing. What? That also hit nothing. Come on now. That's more like it, baby. Ow. Get that radiation dog away from me. Quadruple machine gun, baby. Dude, doggy. Get away. Oh, I lost all the HP I shouldn't have lost there. Shotgun and flame. We'll take flame. We are at the boss now. I'm a little bit, a little bit annoyed that our HP is in such a bad state for this boss, but we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. Right, throw any throw and throw. My dude, throwing seems a lot harder. Okay, we did it there. With one HP remaining. We did it. And we got to level Ultra, which is very nice. Um, let's see what we got going on here. Plus six max HP, move while shielding, um, shorter shield, shoot while shielding, while stationary, increase fire rate, and deflect projectiles, Herman and enemies are invulnerable to all damage while shielding. That seems very good. Ooh, hello, it's this fella. Aha! Every fourth shot does no damage, so that did no damage. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff, and now we're into the loop, baby. We are into the loop. Obviously, loop is where things get a bit wacky. If you don't know what looping is, basically it's going back to the start, but things are a lot harder this time round. As you can probably already tell, my health has been diminished far more rapidly than before. I don't know what enemy that was that was doing that, but I did not like it. There's a powered up enemy here. What does this guy do? He leaves a block up behind him. Don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Okay, that is super goddamn useful. We don't really have good looping weapons right now, I wouldn't say. Those things they leave around are scary. Ooh, Doom Launcher. <laughs> Doom Launcher is so good. It basically launches a, bit, a bunch of mini dudes that chase everything. It's amazing. If this is the one I'm thinking of, anyways. No, it's not. Oh yeah, it is, it is, it is. Very good for looping. Basically, I want to get far enough to get to that area where it was like 175% radiation to enter. I want to know what the hell that was.
Okay, we also have two bosses now, one of which is already dead. Oh, fuck me. That was close. Ooh. Blood cannon. We have a new boss on this floor as well. New to us, not new to the game. I got run over by the van, great. There's the boss there, look, it's good old mom. I want that HP so bad, but mum is spewing shit everywhere. Mum, stop. Oh my god. That HP is lost to us now. What we can do is we can launch a few of those down there. Let little fellas do some work. There you go. Oh my god, she had a death effect. I forgot about that. <laughs> Very much forgot about that. But we are getting through this just fine right now. Health has been a little bit of a point of contention, but otherwise we're doing good. Oh, we got a golden elite sniper over there. These are loop exclusive enemies that have burner stats and do some new stuff. Oh, we've also got a new boss here as well. The music has kicked in. There he is. He's very hard, as you can clearly tell. I think we got him. He's, he's got very low HP, but he can like sneak up on you and slice and dice you. Stressed out now, first time looping. It's, it's a scary old time. Swarm bomb. That seems very good. I think I'm going to take that. It's scary, but I'm going to take it. I think there's some police over here somewhere. Okay, that's not all of them. Apparently I missed some down here as well. Okay, luckily it does tell us where they are. Another great part of the mod. Amazing quality of life feature. How'd you get down here, fella? And then you just killed yourself. What a waste. Yeah, I had a feeling this would be good. And it very much is. Dude, can you come down here so I can kill you and not destroy whatever this is? Okay, we got through. It took us to whatever the hell this stage is. Okay, it's a new scary stage. This is what we've got. Loop exclusive stage by the looks of it. Go my little pretties. You can see there's different enemies from different levels as well appearing. I just love these little dudes that just run around and explore on everything. It's amazing. Oh, we got one of these guys. Big heck. Our ammo situation's pretty bad right now. Oh god, this is an alternate version of this floor I see now. I don't know what I picked up here. Picked up an ultra weapon. 
ultra mega laser pistol. Charge splinter gun, electro rifle. Golden disc gun, lovely. Luckily I can shield against this stuff, which I normally can't because of my ultra mutation. Mini incinerator, doom rifle versus doom launcher. Let's go for the doom rifle, I think it's going to be slightly more reliable. And we can look for whatever's left on the stage because I somehow managed to defeat that without dying. And I'll be honest, I'm not really sure how. <laughs> Who's left? Imagine if that was the dude that killed me. That would have been terrible. So we're on the alternate versions of these floors, I think. So we're on like, the dark version of this floor now. This is kind of scary, to be honest. Okay, the Doom, the Doom rifle is way better because it just launches the little dudes. Saves me a lot of trouble. Ow! One of the little dudes just exploded under my feet. Seeker cannon. Holy shit. I keep trying to explode underneath me and it's scaring me. We only have a limited range, so... Spamming them is only effective to a point, and it stops being so effective and starts to be more detrimental. That was an amazing kill on that guy. I didn't even mean to do that. I was just protecting myself and the octopus thing just did its thing. A thermite, no, thermite injector, sorry. Interesting idea. Let's try this out. Oh, okay. The thermites seem to be uh, pretty ravenous. Holy hell, this is good. I like this. The thermites seem to be able to do quite a bit of, quite a bit of damage. Like there's a boss in here somewhere. That was a very quick kill on that boss there. Holy hell. These these are what the um the loops are all about. It's just absolute craziness. It's just like a lawless land. A lawless land of nonsense. I'm really liking this thing. The fact that it's no ammo used is just perfection itself on loops. Oh, we got hyper crystal here. This guy's very, very tricky because any one of those crystals touches you and you are instantly dead. I was able to shield myself from the damage there, which is not always plausible. Okay, we got we got Ultra Crystal. Oh <gasps> god, this has been a stressful one. But a very, very fun run though. I'm glad I stuck with it. This is what can happen in Nuclear Throne sometimes. You just get on these absolutely amazing runs. With this enemy here that I physically cannot hit. Okay, so the tentacles don't really do that much damage anymore. They're still useful. At least to a single target. They're good for like spreading damage out amongst a room, maybe. On smaller targets. Got HP. Got this guy again. I'm not particularly enthused to see. Okay, that time we took him out way faster. Things are so hectic. Honestly, the frame rate is holding up reasonably well as well. Not, as, I thought it'd get pretty dire at this point, but it's holding in there. 
It's holding in there. I've been getting so many unlocks that I'm like just completely oblivious to. Thank God for the HP there. I was getting pretty low. Oh, I, I am on my uh, fourth free hit though, so if I get hit, I'm not going to die. Really annoys me that enemies do this and they spawn like really far behind you. But you're just making me backtrack, aren't you? Okay, that's our blocked hit. Over and done with. Explosions. I'm trying to use my shielding when I can, but I'm going to be a little reckless with it. We're getting four times from Strong, Strong Spirit gave us war uh, the Warrior. Got a lot of modded characters unlocked already here. Super Ion Cannon. I think I'll take the Super Ion Cannon. How about that? And on that, we'll add Swarm. A rather large area this is oh okay this is this one so basically for certain bosses that you've killed you can gain benefits so for this one max hp increase our radiation uh 15 with this one we can gain one additional life with this one we can unlock a mutation reroll station with this one increase our max level by one and then eventually once you've got all of them with only at the minute cheshire cat being the last one remaining you can fight a special boss at the end and get some really cool stuff. That's kind of like one of the ultimate goals, other than just looping indefinitely um, on these runs. Ah, I, I should have gone through there. I didn't mean to do that. Well, here is the Infinity Slugger. Ooh, nice. Uh, here is the uh, the boss once more. See what we can do against him. And we can loop it once more. Oh, I see. I was using this entirely incorrectly. My bad. There you go. I've got to like hold it above, over the top of the enemy. My bad. And I guess we'll go with um, impact risks, considering the amount of enemies. <laughs> wow, that's, he's dead already. Okie dokie. Oh, hello, who are you? We have a friend. We have a friend, apparently. <laughs> Look at all the impact risks marked from the floor, that's hilarious. You can tell there's like leaked worlds here. Like the night worlds leaked into, leaked into the day one. Yeah, impact risks is a good pickup here because it just means you can do so much here. Golden shotgun, nice. Golden Bazooka. The, these are the runs that are great because you just unlock so many um, golden weapons. Hyper Grenade Rifle, Skull Breaker, Blood Hammer, Super Beam Shotgun, the Pop Disperse Gun, the Hyper Launcher, the Heavy Flare Gun. Ooh, that's cool. I like that. We got up to level 12 here as well, which is funny to see. Um, probably go with Trigger Fingers, to be honest. I was just to spam like crazy. What is this? Do I go inside that? I don't know what that is. Oh, that's just one of these portals to another world, I see. Look at all the marks on the floor. It's beautiful. 
Again, by the way, if the audio is too loud, I can try and sort things out. I realize I'm at minimum percent. I really don't know what goes on with my game audio with the way that that works. Because it should be dead quiet right now and it's on 0.01% and it's still loud. I don't know. Hopefully it's not too loud for you guys. Just let me know. This weapon is doing a real good job though right now. Oh my god. Did we kill the bosses already? No way. Okay, no. There's two of them left. Oh, we also got two trucks per level now as well. At first I thought we killed all the bosses instantly, but I think we just killed one instantly, which is far more reasonable. This has been a beautiful run, this has. <laughs> just wailing in there. I'm locking so many golden weapons. I'm trying to find Mum wherever she is. I have no idea. I got her. Oh, I tried to block the shot and I missed it. My bad. <laughs> Lightning yo yo. Honestly, so far, I'm pretty happy with the stuff we've got going on right now. There is going to be even more purple honors. Oh, Lightning Yo Yo seems interesting enough. Seems like it could be good for some pretty decent crowd control. Some fish down here. What the hell? Okay, we're good. We're good. Yeah, this is this is a good one for uh, just throwing a few in there and killing a lot of things. It just covers the room in electricity. Although the ammo consumption is pretty hefty. Gosh. We are definitely going to die pretty soon here, though. I can feel it. <laughs> I am not playing very cautiously at the moment either, but I'm having all the fun, and I don't feel like we have to go super uber loop on our very first, like, proper run, do we? Let's see what we've got going on here. Swarm minigun, golden flare gun, director box gun, the skull breaker, the bouncer plasma cannon. Bouncer Plasma Cannon seems intriguing. Right. Through the portal. Wherever the portal... Where is, where's the portal? Oh, it's over here. Through the portal once again. Try and use this Bouncer crazy thingy. See what happens. Seems pretty good. Also, one great thing about uh, Ultra Mod as well is that in the base game, there is basically only a few end game builds for like doing really, really late loops. Because there's like a few really good weapons, but they're the only ones you can use. But this mod adds way more end game variety, so there's way more crazy builds that you can use. Mega Incinerator. That doesn't seem that good for um, its cost. Explosive. Let's go with explosive on that bad boy, why not? Yeah, let's just take a little look down here again. So we still need to do Cheshire Cat, obviously. But we can uh, go through to like these, which is your reroll. If you want to reroll something, but obviously we'll keep boiling veins. And then in here we have take the uh, challenge for an ultra mod. Yeah, we'll try this out. These are basically just challenge rooms where it's just a bunch of enemies, loads of different separate waves. You gotta fight, and if you beat them all, you get a pretty good reward. Don't know if we'll end up beating it this time around. I'm taking this on a whim, seeing what we can do. We're pretty strong, so... I'm gonna say it's somewhat likely we'll be able to give it a good go. Some turtles coming in here. 
sadly not the friendly kind. Yeah, there's some waves that are harder than others. These first few waves are very, very easy, but later on they get very brutal. We've got all these swarmers here as well, like these little parasite things, whatever they're called. What are they called again? Termites. Termites are doing a very good job of just killing everything in its sight. We managed to knock that guy out of the way. We managed to overheal by one as well here. Got him. Hey, we did it. Okay, nice. So, this is where things get real crazy. So, basically these allow you to change stuff into other stuff. It, it, it's mental. So, basically, you want bullets into, like, Seekers or something. So, let's let's take a look at what we've got going on here. So, we got... Where's bullets? Melee into Kraken. So, you, you can change melee into stuff. Hmm. Shotgun into bullets. Bullets, la bullets into lasers. Bullets into plasma. There isn't one for every single thing. Melee into blood. Um. That seems interesting, because blood also deflects shots. I'm going to try melee into blood and see how that works. There seems to be some blood there. I don't know how good this is going to end up being. We'll find out. But yeah, that's one of the challenges we can do. It's pretty cool. It seems just as good as it was before. I'll be honest. Doesn't seem any less <laughs> crazy. The accelerator. Ooh, that's cool. That's pretty cool. I still like this plasma thing, though. Which I'm not really using that often. Let's go through here this time. My goodness. I was going to try and do the Cheshire Cat thing, and then we'll uh, leave off the episode. If we survive that long, that is. Oh god, I got run over there. Getting run over, it's not okay. I'm on one HP right now. Oh my god. Ah, no. There it is. Oh, we got to revive, of course. Of course, we got to revive. I forgot about that. It gives us a little, like, brief moment of invulnerability. I forgot about that. But it does mean that we restart from level zero. So we're going to go with Rhino Skin. Um, we'll go with Hammerhead. We'll go with Rabbit. We got the Super Trident. Just have unlimited ammo, so... And that's the blood, the heavy blood bullets. I actually just ran over there straight away. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. That was a hell of a lot of fun, and we'll try and do more of those as we go. But let's go back to the menu and see all what we've unlocked so far. We've actually gotten to the point, bar one character, that we've unlocked everything that I had unlocked in the first one in terms of characters. So we did a pretty good job. I was at 50% unlocked before, and in two runs we're at 40%. So we're doing pretty well for unlocks. Either way, I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.